Uh, just your overall thoughts on uh, Saturday's game. <clears throat> well, uh, just, a, just a great game defensively and offensively and uh, special teams too. We got turnover on special teams. You know, just a great game, you know, going out there, you know, travels, you know, got delayed for like a later flight and just, just going out there, being ready to play and, and uh, having great practice all week really uh, turned out good for us. How good was it to be back and playing? It was great. You know, I hadn't played in about, you know, really two weeks and uh, it was great. It was a great back to get, uh, get back to practice. You know, it was hard to watch for the whole week, just watching practice and then watching the Idaho game. And uh, it was just great to get back uh, Monday night the last week, and uh, it was great. You had the quarterback keeper went for about six yards one time, and went out of holding our breath doing that one. There was no restrictions on you. Anything you were asking? No, I was I was good all week. You know, it was it was still sore. You know, after every practice, and I just went to treatment every day for about two hours. And I uh, got it good. You know, some runs, you know, it tightened up, but uh, I was I was able to stick in there and got through it. App State coming up. How do you build off this last game, especially with how big of a game? Uh, you know, App State's got a very good defense, and uh, it was great to, uh, last week to have a great offensive showing. So just keep the momentum going up to uh, this week. It'd be good for us. A big game on Saturday. How important was that for you, especially good feel, season, trying to make a turnaround with this team? I feel like it was a big emphasis on um, what we should have been doing at the beginning, you know, and what we can uh, end up doing. You know, uh, the game um, actually was sort of a statement that we, you know, we're here and we're not, you know, we're not going nowhere. We got five games left. You know, we can still make a bowl, um, and we're trying to, we're trying to do that. That's what we're trying to work hard and find that our team had that, um, that type of momentum during the first half. And we know we start out slow the second half, but um, found that we came together and how we work together. I feel like we have, we can end up having a big year. Walk us through that 92 yard touchdown and. Uh... What was going on? For you there? <laughs> uh, it was a uh, dive, and um, when I went in the gap, coach uh, been uh, telling me since practice, uh, no negative runs. And uh, when I got to the line, I seen a little gash, so I was just trying to hit it. And once I hit it, I got stopped. And to my left, I just seen a little daylight, so I just looked and I just tried to hit it. And once I hit it, Jarvis had a nice block sealed, so when I hit it, I was just running. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. All right, I'm gonna score. I'm gonna score. When I got to that 30, though, whew. <laughs> It hit me. <laughs> it hit me. All I'm talking about hit me all at once. And next thing you know, I'm just using all arm momentum trying to finish. And uh, I look to my left, and um, uh, Desmond over here trying to uh, – he's blocking him, so I'm worried about this dude. And he was coming so fast. I don't know where he got the energy from, but he was coming so fast. And, uh, and he ended up knocking his block off the – adding me to score. But that was the longest run I ever had. I was so tired. When you found out that it was tied for the longest – what was your reaction? I thought I had I thought I had it beat though. I really thought I had it beat. I think they cheated me a few yards. <laughs> I, on a low, I've been watching the video trying to count the yards. <laughs> when did the last week and coach said that the emphasis was gonna be to throw a little face pressure and get the ball to the running back? Knowing that going in, does that take a little pressure off of you thinking, hey, I haven't got the I haven't got to be necessarily as productive as what the team's trying to do at the whole. I mean, I still got to be productive. That means just uh, I got to emphasize blo on blocking more, uh, make sure our line, uh, me and the line pick up our um, our blitzers coming in so the quarterback can have time to pass. You know, it's still it's not that since we're not starting off running that I'm more calm. You know, I still got a, a role to do, you know, either way. But it does help a lot when, when Teddy and Jarvis and Emmanuel, all of them are, are catching like they was uh, this weekend. Coach Brown was talking about having some other offensive linemen rotating in there. How is it gelling in with uh, those other offensive linemen picking up blocks and reading them? And uh, how's that transfer over to this game coming up? Uh, all about communication. We've been emphasizing communication uh, all this week. And that's what uh, Coach Steady harping on communication, communication. Um, there's a lot of guys in there who, who's been rotating, and we've just been trying to tell them to communicate. The more they communicate with me, the better that if they miss a guy, then I can, you know, I can get out late or end up just picking that guy up. So that's all it is about communication. So this was your uh, what, first touchdown ever, ever, ever dating back to when you were five years old. Is that true? And uh, talk to us about it. Yes, it's true. First one ever. I hope it's not the last one, but it was the first one. and It's weird. <laughs> It just it just felt just felt weird. I don't know how to explain this. It. It's, I guess it's a good feeling, but at the same time, I was hoping I didn't get caught. So <laughs> it was a great feeling. Were you, did you even know what to do at that point? Pick it up, and run. 
<laughs> and, and turn around and jump around. But I didn't have enough energy once I got to the end zone. <laughs> A celebration in mind for the last 15 years? Or? I, I was just, I was, to be honest, I did, but I was like, nah, I don't want to do that because I didn't want to get the penalty. So I said, I'm just going to score with my teammates. Because Terrence made a great play, and I just, it wasn't just me, it was the whole defense. I had a wall lead to the end zone, so. Can you just talk about the overall defensive performance, uh, how you guys were able to hold them to seven points? Uh, we did, uh, we did good. We didn't do great. We did good. Uh, like Coach Vic always said, he expected us to be a lot better than we were. There's a lot of times we had some plays that we should have made, but we didn't. Like uh, the big screen that got them to the seven points they had. The big screen they had. Tyler made a great play. I mean, that was a great effort play. He comes from the backside, 20 yards downfield and makes a tackle. To lead, uh, save a touchdown, but we did okay as a defense, but we could do a lot better. So we did a pretty good leading, holding them to seven, but I feel like we, they shouldn't even score a, a point. What are some of those things that you can improve on heading into this weekend's game? Well, we all have to do our job. We have to play assignment football. One person can't, uh, one person can't just do his own thing, like um, squeezing, reading the block better. Etc. You know, we just got to play together as a whole and just focus. Let's talk about something you have done a lot of. And when, you, when you had that sack, you know, you look at you physically, you, you, you see a lot of rush ends that are 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, you're not that kind, but you're burst off the line on that. And it seems like that's really your strength as a pass rusher. Does that, does that sound legitimate for you? Does that sound right? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, a lot of people. Uh, dating back to high school, that's why I was never recruited, uh, I think. Well, I know I was never recruited in high school because I was just too too short of a pass rusher. Everybody said, well, he's not tall enough, he's not tall enough. And one thing I, uh, that set me apart from a lot of other players was I had a great ball get off. And uh, I ran track all the way all the way up to high school, so that's one thing I constantly worked was ball get off and leverage. And being a shorter guy, that's what helps me pass rush better. And that's what sets me apart, I guess. You mentioned two players in the kind of puzzle play that they made Terrace on the, on the floor. You know, we talked about it on the air, how far he came to make that play. And then Tyler running the guy down 40 yards down the field, uh, not quitting. But you guys feed off of that when you see another player giving that kind of effort and that kind of hustle? Uh, we always do. Uh, Coach, Coach Brown, his one thing he'll always say that we hear every week is strain. And Basically, that's giving the extra effort. And when I see someone like Tyler or Terrace giving that extra effort, that's making me want to say, hey, I need to pick it up my game even more. Because if he's out there basically giving everything he has, why can't I? And if I expect it out of him, he's going to expect it out of me, and so on and so forth. Uh, just your overall thoughts on Saturday's game. Um, I think offensively, we came out explosive. Um, Bay to put some points on the board this week. Um, uh, defensively, he started a little slow, but you know picked it up uh, as the game went along. But you know defensively, some things we got to fix, some things we got to work on, get better at, and um, coming with App State, uh, number one in our conference. You know this this is a big week for us. You know you say you work you work perfect. What are some of the things you need to fix in order to carry that type of mode, uh, type of defensive? momentum over to this game? Uh, first and foremost, uh, angles, tackles. You know, we got to be able to tackle. If you can't tackle, then, you know, that's more yards per play uh, the offense get. Uh, we just need to, to key in on our keys and be more disciplined with our eyes, feet, hands, or whatever it may be. So we just got to fix those minor things, fundamental things, and to become a better defense. You're going up against uh, the highest rated player in the Sun Belt. I see you smirk a little bit there. Yeah. That's the challenge you guys face, and how do you plan on building off of this week's performance with him? Uh, it should be fun, you know. Well, facing guys like that, you know, it's a challenge. It's all you get that that hunger, desire, and you know, you approaching a, a great quarterback, you know, that that really motivates you to be even better, uh, practice better, and you know, just focus, focus in better each and every week. So you know, I, I look at it as a challenge, and I'm ready for it. Defensively, do you think you've kind of 
find your niche? Um, uh, how could y'all can be? Um, I wouldn't say that. I mean, it's a lot of room for improvement. And, you know, defensively, we really didn't play as our, the, our highest potential. It's a, it's a lot of things that we gave them. It's a lot of things that we gave up that that's really not us, you know. That's why I said we wasn't perfect. But, you know, a lot of opportunities, um, New Mexico State didn't capitalize on them. And, you know, we was uh, fortunate that they happened. But we just got to focus better. We just got to focus.